Hi, everybody. Look. It's Firecrow. I actually need to do shit real quick here, and I'm fucking stupid, and I fucking... Uh, I'll fix that later. It won't be a problem once everything starts happening. Uh, and if it is, I can pause. Uh, so I need to do something really quick. Uh, so I just got this game. Uh, and by just, I mean like uh, earlier today. Uh, and wait, no, I, I don't need to do this. Go back. Take okay, my back. Uh, I, I just got this game. Uh, and if you don't know what Fire Pro is, it is a wrestling game. Uh, it is a wrestling game in which, uh, the creative character and everything is just so insanely in-depth, depth, uh, that you can have pretty much whoever the fuck you want in the game. Uh, so I have some bag spikes. That's potentially an issue. Probably won't be once the game starts, so I'm not. Uh, so, uh, let me just add these guys, uh, and we'll go over exactly what I'm doing with Fire Pro in a quick second. I just gotta get this to actually behave itself. Doodle doo. Okay. ACH uh, and CW Anderson. Uh, that's a copy of a CW Anderson. I already have a uh, CW Anderson. Uh, but yeah, here. Uh, I have, I think, probably roughly at least over a thousand. Um, over a thousand characters already. Uh, and some of them are, are jokes. Um, some of them are not here, let's just... So, um, my plan, right, with this is uh, to lower the game audio. Okay, so my plan with this, right, is you can hit this button right here and randomized wrestlers come. Now, I have wrestlers um, from all over, uh, so right here, you can see that I have, uh, starting here on the left, uh, Jack Sexsmith, who is a, uh, a European independent wrestler, I believe, uh, George Gracie, who's not a wrestler, but he's a member of the, of the Gracie fighting family, uh, 1998 Booker T, uh, Lita, uh, NWO Sting, Tony Storm, who's a, who's an Australian female wrestler, NL Johnny, who is a, uh, a YouTube, uh, Twitch streamer, uh, the one who inspired me to get this game, which is ironic that he would be uh in this first original lineup and uh i believe his name is ultraman uh so i have oh i didn't want to actually do the match um so we're not gonna watch that nope nope okay this was an accident this was an accident blah oh. we're starting off strong here Um, oh, it's apparently a tag match. Even worse. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Um, so, right, let me let me actually click on NWO Sting here. So, I have um, people from the independent scene. Uh, and then that splits into European, United States, and Japanese. Uh, I have some, some Impact people. Uh, I, I like Impact. I do. I just... The roster's kind of a revolving door, so I'm waiting. Uh, and also, a lot of the Impact people that I would have as, like, you know, former Impact people, I have in other groupings, right? Uh, I have ROH. Um, I don't follow ROH all that much, so these are the people I know that are in ROH. Uh, Jimmy Jacobs probably could have went to TNA. There's a couple people where they would have worked better in certain groups, but I just put them in the groups I felt fit them best. Uh, MMA. Which, MMA, this, this is a category that's important. Uh, I split this into uh, MMA, which is like like Bruce Lee's here, right? Uh, and uh, the Gracies are here. And uh, Olympic Kurt Angle is here. Because uh, it's, it's, it's literally mixed martial arts dominated by the Gracies. Oh, and Chuck Norris. Uh, Chuck Norris is here as well. Um, and Chuck Norris has costumes. I don't know how to change costumes. Uh, oh. 
that's I'm kind of disappointed that there's not a Walker Texas Ranger. Uh, and then I have boxing, which I have uh, Muhammad Ali, and then uh, this piece of human garbage, and uh, and then I have UFC, which is people, to my knowledge, uh, that are I don't I don't follow UFC all that much, uh, but this is people, to my knowledge, that have either worked for UFC uh, when it was like a big deal, uh, or worked for like got famous in UFC or are currently working for UFC. So, like, I have Brock Lesnar, but it's UFC Brock Lesnar. Uh, I have Classical, so this is probably my favorite category. Uh, so, this is split into Mexican, United States, Japan, and Europe. Um, so, it, like, I got people like El Santo. Uh, I got people like uh, Bruno San Martino and, and, and Frank Gotch. Uh, I got people like uh, Tiger Mask 2 and um, Gary Albright. Basically, this category is like people that I don't, that like are either retired uh, or are currently not like signed to a legend contract with anybody or anything like that. So I put them in this, t uh, this one. Or they're dead. Because um, <laughs> like Masa was fucking dead. Uh, Baba's dead, Anoki I think is still kicking, uh, uh, I think Chozu's dead, I'm not sure on that, I think one of the Tiger Masks are dead, pretty sure Gary Albright's dead, uh, Giant Bernard's here, because I, I, I don't have another place for him, don't ask questions, uh, ECW, uh, funny enough, there's uh, ECW Originals, <laughs> And then there's WWE CW, in which I was only able to find Monty Brown. Uh, so, people don't like WWE CW. Um, WCW is WCW. I, I did separate NWO. Uh, and then I did separate some of the people that would have been around for Crockett era. Um, and then the Monday Night Wars. Um, tri uh, AAA, I don't know shit about AAA. So, I know these four people are in it. I know Pero Aguayo is dead. Uh, I, I put him in that category before I made the, uh, the Mexican, uh, classical one. Then I have NWA, and fun fact, the NWA has a current section with the entire current NWA roster! Uh, except for that bald chick that follows Josephus around. Um, then I have, uh, this is my favorite. This is originally called Fantasy, but, uh, I named it my Not Fighter section, um, because there's some stuff in here. Uh, I got, I got real life people. Uh, I just noticed that apparently at some point I downloaded Hitler. Uh, you can download packs of people. I did not really pay much attention. Apparently I also downloaded Stalin, Mussolini, and, uh, the Unabomber. So, and Mao Zedong. Great. Uh, so maybe I should check these packs. Um, and then I have, like, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Nintendo, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Lucha Underground. Uh, Lucha Underground. <laughs> uh, New Japan I have separated by, uh, like... You know, who's in what, like Los Ngongarbos, Suzuki Gun, uh, people who aren't in anything. Uh, these are going to be fun, by the way. I can't read kanji, and I have some kanji. Oh, hey, there's a piece of human garbage again. Or a different piece of human garbage. Um, and then I got, uh, you know, new Bullet Club. I have two Cody Rhodes, I want to say. Um, because I, I think this one's garbage. Uh, and I wanted to get rid of it. Um, and I didn't. Um... WWE, which is actually split up into different eras, um, because hey, guess what? I know WWE way more than I know any of the other companies. Surprise. Anyway, but that's not important, guys, because here's the thing. We have sick guitar music, man. Uh, and that guitar music went away. Hold up. Let me just... Um... <clears throat> It feels loud. Anyway, so so I have uh, currently a bunch of titles uh, that I made. Belt edit. So I got uh, the Totem Trouser Wrestling Association World Title. Uh, I have uh, the Totem Trouser. Uh, wrestling Association tag title and the tag title is fun because it can only be it's a six man tag title and it can only be competed for in a landmine death match 
because they're in the game. Uh, and then I have uh, the Gruesome Fighting title, which this is actually, I'm totally stealing this from New Legacy. Uh, it's, it's a tournament only title. Uh, it's a UFC tournament. They're fun. Fuck you. I want it to do one. Um, but, but yeah, so I'm going to just have people fight for these. Probably not uh, all of these. I think we're going to start down here. Uh, and then work our way up. Or, you know what, let's do the tag title right now. Um, just because this might take a while. I don't want to do this for an incredibly long amount of time. Um, also, hi, YouTube. It's been a while. Um, I'm not on you right now, but I will be. Um, so, can I have... I don't think I can have uh, a tag title. Um, so, anyway, uh, let's, let's, let's crown uh, our man. I don't have arenas yet. I'll be real with you. Um... I also have many, many refs, uh, because I didn't think I had enough refs, and then I found out that I downloaded way too many refs, uh, so I have really stupid refs, um, so let's see here, I'm just gonna go like this, and, and click one randomly, okay, Guy Fieri will be refing, uh, this, I, I, like I said, I don't have any venues or arenas yet, uh, they will come, and, uh, we're gonna remove, uh, we're gonna remove these two, and it looks like, uh, it, it looks like our first, uh, our first, can I, yeah, there we go, okay, so, for the Totem Trouser World Tag, uh, or Totem Trouser Wrestling Alliance Tag Team Championships, uh, looks like our first teams are going to be the team of The Undertaker, Zeus from No Holds Barred, and Kid Lyakos of Jap, uh, uh, shit, European... Independent wrestling fame, more likely progress. I, I, I didn't make a, a single bracket for progress because I don't follow them enough to keep it updated. Uh, so I just put them in the European independent. And they will be going up against Mosh of the Headbangers, Trent Seven, uh, another European uh, independent wrestler, and Maki Genruisi, which I believe is a Street Fighter character. Oh no, she's a Final Fight character. Um, so yeah, let's go into some settings here. Um, hmm, three count, corner options, uh, let's do fluorescent lamps, uh, weapons, of course we want eight, uh, speed, let's put it at 150, just in case, uh, elimination I can't turn off, so, or on, um, critical, let's put critical as high, cause then people get knocked the fuck out. Um, okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's start our official first match of the Totem Trouser Wrestling Federation. Uh, let's go. Your ref, Guy Fieri. Oh, God. Oh, it's a cluster. Oh, it's a very loud, loud cluster. Hold up. Um... There we go. Give me a moment. Sorry about that. Anyway, so, wow, a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, it looks like Trent Seven and Ginaru are uh, teaming up on Zeus, and that's no longer happening. And uh, we're not doing 150 speed after this, uh, because it's hard to keep up. Uh, okay, so everyone's paired off. Oh! Uh, Kid Lyokos goes into some fluorescent lamps. Uh, and now they're just getting completely destroyed. Uh, Undertaker taking a taking a breather, letting his team just get bodied. Uh, that's that's fine. Undertaker's old. Oh, and Kid Lyokos goes into the barbed wire on the outside. Oh man, that dude's having a bad day. Somebody's bleeding. I see blood on the mat, but I don't see blood anywhere. It might be Lyokos. I think it is. Uh, Trent Seven holding his own. Um, I forgot the teams. <laughs> I should have written them down um, because. It got confusing, people. It got confusing. Uh, it appears that... Uh, oh, and Corleo goes back into the barbed wire. Um, I think he is actually injured in real life right now, and he's going to be injured in the game. Um, so, so yeah, uh, Guy Fieri counting the pin there. Counting the pin here, too. Oh, and no. 
Oh, oh, Kidiokos and Zeus teaming up on Genryu. Uh, as you can see, we have no problem here with, uh, with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, in inner, inner gender, inner gender matches. Uh, that is, that is not a problem at all. Um, wow. Lot of shit happening here. Uh, <laughs> You know, on second thought, this is, uh, maybe we maybe it wasn't a bad idea bumping this up to 150, uh, maybe 125. Oh, fixed person to the fucking thing. Um, ow. <laughs> um, one wonders if I should have made the ropes barbed wire, and I think I will next time. Uh, Undertaker, uh, does not take the fluorescent tube spot. Um, Zeus beating down Jinryu. Uh, Trent Seven, incredibly bloody. Um, so far it looks like Trent Seven and uh, Kid Kid Leokos, uh, a very good boy, um, are are very bloody. Uh, however, Mosh is Mosh is on the way to Blood Town, and uh, and he's getting there. He's getting there fast. Oh, Zeus goes for the choke slam on a piece of wood. Uh, if it does appear to be some puddling of blood under Mosh, so we're gonna go ahead and say he's now bleeding. Uh, he's choking out, uh, Jinryu, and what is honestly kind of uncomfortable, um, and Undertaker putting a dragon sleeper on Mosh, that's, okay, a lot of stuff going on here, um, honestly, if I were you, I would just kind of maybe pick a, pick a person, watch that person, and then when the match ends, go back and see what happened, oh, wait, did someone get knocked out? What happened there? It looks like Mosh... Might have submitted to Zeus. Um, we're we're waiting final final word from the uh, judges here. Um, very chaotic first match at the Totem Trouser Wrestling Alliance. Uh, maybe maybe we need to reconsider how fast things go. Yes, it looks like Mosh uh, oh, Mosh uh, got choked out by Zeus. Um, and therefore your new Totem Trouser Wrestling Alliance Tag Team Champions are the team of the Undertaker, Zeus, and Kid Leokos. Um. Which now we need to think of a name for them. Undead movie boys. Okay. How about the chokers? Cause cause Undertaker does a choke slam. Zeus Zeus choked out Mosh and, and Kid Leokos. Where's a collar? <laughs> so, there we go! Because he's a dog! You can't see it, the, the character model is... A, you should actually look him up in real life. He's a really cool looking dude. Uh, I'm going to take a take a quick second to uh, to go get some pen and paper. So we can uh, so we can write things down. I'll be right back. Because I have no idea whether or not this game uh, notates who is the champion and who's not. Actually, this would now be a good time to find that out. Um, in the meantime, uh, give me one sec. Let's see. Um, view title. Okay, so no. It does not tell me who, who actually was the person who won, at least for the tag team titles. The other one, we can we can put some words in and say who, 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 who owns who. Um, give me a quick sec. Ladies and gentlemen, in an unprecedented, uh, an unprecedented set of events, we're joined by the commissioner of the, of the Totem Trouser Wrestling Alliance, this cat. 
Um, and according to this cat, as he as he kind of un, unwillingly purrs because he just got woken up, um, we are going to have a, uh, a a tournament, a little small tournament, to uh, to to crown the uh, the world heavyweight champion, huh? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do, huh, Mister Mister Commissioner Cat? Yeah. Hmm? Would you like to sit with me for the tournament? Yeah. Good boy. Okay, so um, let's do this tournament here. Um, we are going to do. <laughs> um, I don't know what the fuck S one rules are. I don't. Wait, hold up. We need to see what S one rules are before we uh, do anything. Because um, I know there's one of these that is I shit you not kickboxing, and it's boring as hell. And I think it's this one. Uh, so we're going to. Um, not do this tournament um but we are going to do a tournament to crown the first uh first champion which i know kind of devalues um devalues the uh you know the tournament title but uh don't worry this will just be a um actually wait can i i wonder felix the commissioner uh can we this is also me just kind of playing around with the game, trying to figure out, oh, that's cool. Mixed. What's mixed? Um, this is me just kind of playing around with the game. Uh, there's a lot you can do in this game. Uh, so let's see who the four people, the four number one contenders are for the, uh, for the Tome Trusser World, uh, world title, huh, Felix? Um, Okay, so um, <clears throat> the commissioner has uh, has has decreed that this is no longer a tournament match for the um, the title, as he doesn't know what this is, and neither do I. And you know what? I kind of want to find out. So um, we're just gonna have a normal match, uh, a normal tournament, and who knows? Maybe the winner or winners apparently um, will be in contention for the uh, the title. That sound good? Yeah, yeah, it does, Mr. Cat. Okay, sweet. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, your referee this evening, Earl Hebner. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, can't be a can't be a title match. That's fine. Uh, I really need to. Oh, hey, I do have arenas. Cool. Um, let's let's do it at the SCS uh, Stadium because stadiums are big, right? I'm down with that. Um. Settings, oof, 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 oof. Uh, elimination on tornado. We're gonna leave off. Um, let's see. Uh, wind condition three count over the top rope. Uh, let's leave that. Uh, time. It's a tournament, so we can't have a time limit. Matches. Yeah. Um, let's let's try a hundred and twenty-five. You know, let's try a hundred. Maybe, maybe it won't be that bad. Um, eh, let's do 125 because it's going to be a tournament, right? Um, cool. So let's return and let's see how this goes. So we have uh, Hulk team versus Kenny team and then Stevie team versus We Fit team. Um, I don't know what that means. So let's go. It appears to be four against one. Uh, I imagine Hulk team is one of the one of the two Hulk Hogan's I have. Um, one being NWO, the other one being, you know, red and yellow Hulk Hogan, which is getting a very salsa y. Oh, wow, that's cool. Okay, and uh, so his opponent or opponents is uh, not who I thought it was. I thought I was expecting Kenny Omega. I believe this is uh, Mr. Kennedy. Okay, not not who I thought. I didn't even know I had a Mr. Kennedy. I'll be completely honest with you. I have no idea when I downloaded him. 
And uh, Mr. Miyagi also apparently is on this team. And it looks like we have uh, Muhammad Ali also joining Team Kennedy. And the fourth and final member of Team Kennedy is Kenny Omega. So it's Team. So it was right. It was Team Kenny. Um, so Kenny Omega has uh, has made a team to kill Ho uh, Hulkamania. Uh, his team consists of uh, Mr. Kennedy, uh, Mr. Miyagi, and the greatest boxer alive. Or not anymore, but what used to be the greatest boxer alive, Mr. Uh, <laughs> Muhammad Ali. Uh, it is one fall to a finish. However, it is elimination, so um, Hulk Hogan does have to pin all four members of the uh, team to kill Hulkamania. Um, and uh, Muhammad Ali gets tagged in. Uh, Kenny Omega is still in the ring. Muhammad Ali getting, getting fired up there. Um, and this is honestly a dream match, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Muhammad Ali and, uh, and Hulk Hogan um, just feeling each other out. Mo Muhammad Ali uh, goes in for the grapple there, punches Hulk Hogan in the mouth. Um, because oh, oh, and they're doing a test of strength. Muhammad Ali somehow winning, which I don't believe is supposed to go possibly. And Muhammad Ali goes for the knees to the face. So, you know, he's adapted well to wrestling. Uh, not like last time. Oh, God, not like last time. Um, and uh, Hulk Hogan uh, gets uh, Muhammad Ali down. Muhammad Ali kicks out it before the, uh, Earl Hebner can even go to a one count. Uh, Muhammad Ali uh, in the ropes uh, does not know how to run the ropes. Not that surprising. Muhammad Ali going again for the knees. Uh, Mr. Miyagi looking on, probably coaching uh, coaching Muhammad Ali into, uh, into how to do anything other than use your fist. Uh, Hulk Hogan giving a punch. Mr. Miyagi gets tagged in. Once again, also a dream match. Uh, some say... Some say that uh, that Daniel was a Hulkamaniac. However, um, it does appear that further research shows that Cobra Kai was uh, was actually the the team the team of Hulkamaniacs. Um, uh, the commissioner is uh, licking himself uh, in the background. It is quite cute, um, but unfortunately, it is out of the camera view. He has very important things to do, uh, being the commissioner. Mr. Miyagi goes for the pin, gets a one count. I, uh, I now realize that making it an elimination match, um, super unfair to Hulk Hogan. Um, <laughs> however, Hulk Hogan did join this tournament, um, by himself. <laughs> he could have, he could have made, he could have made friends, uh, and he, and he didn't. Um, so, so that's, that's his fault. He did this, he did this to himself. Um, and, uh, Mr. Kennedy gets tagged in. I, I feel like at some point... Mr. Kennedy and, and Hulk Hogan have probably had some kind of interaction in the ring. They were both in TNA for a very long period of time, and I, I think they also might have been in WWE for a short while together. Uh, oh, God. Okay, Hulk Hogan outside the ring, and it looks like we are going to... Uh, we're going to have a, a, a good old style... Oh, God! Mr. Miyagi! Oh, Mr. Miyagi, no! Oh, my God! Mr. Miyagi goes crazy on, uh, on Hulkamania here. Uh, Hulk, Hogan gets in at 13 because this is Japanese rules, and in Japan, you go to a 20 count. Uh, oh, and Hulk dodges Mr. Kennedy's uh, dodges Mr. Kennedy's charge, but uh, does not dodge the uh, DDT or the subsequent elbow drop, getting dragged into the middle of the ring. Uh, Kennedy pulls Hulk Hogan up. And Hogan does uh, does appear to counter. Uh, it does appear that Mr. Kennedy's back is bleeding, but on further further um, further research, it shows that it is just a really really shitty tattoo. Um, Hogan Hogan dragging Kennedy out to the middle of the ring, keeping him away from the the ropes. That is a uh, very good ring awareness here. And Miyagi comes in. Miyagi and Hogan apparently have very unfinished business, judging by how much Miyagi is going in on Hogan. Um, oof, oof. Um, oh, Miyagi! Oh, no, Miyagi kicks out before the one count. Uh, Hogan. Hogan's still holding his own, actually. Hogan's been dominating a lot in this match here. Um, but, you know, he is fighting four fucking people, one of which is Muhammad Ali. Um, the leader, Kenny Omega, tagged out pretty early on in this match and has not been tagged in since. Speaking of Muhammad Ali, it appears that Mr. Miyagi and Muhammad Ali are now double-teaming Hulk Hogan. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is, this is truly... Uh, the, the biggest alliance to end Hulkamania I, I believe I've ever seen. Um, uh, that was a submission hold, apparently, because uh, the ref kept asking to give up. Um, honestly, though, M Muhammad Ali punching me in the fucking face would be a, a, a pretty effective submission hold, I, I would think. 
Um, oh, punches to the back of the head. Um, everything goes here in, uh, in Totem Trouser Wrestling Alliance. Uh, we don't believe in concussions here. Uh, our commissioner is a cat, so, um, when he was a kitten, he used to full-blown headbutt me in the face, uh, because he didn't understand how to gently nuzzle. Uh, so he would just rear back. I literally used to watch him. He would stand on my chest, like, take three steps back, and then run at me and fucking nail me in the head. Um, which, like, he was a kitten, so it didn't hurt me? Uh, it, 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 it like kind of stung a little, but it, it obviously I got over it. I felt more sorry for him, but um, but um, uh, looks like we have a uh, 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 rope break there on that pin. Um, but but yeah, so um, so our our commissioner does not believe in concussions. Um, probably because he has a couple of his own. Um, and Hogan puts Kenny in the figure four. Now <laughs> Kenny Kenny reverses, gets out. Uh, oh oh oh, one wing angel. Oh, and Hogan <laughs> kicks off before the one count. Oh man, Hogan, Hogan man, he's burying that young talent. Just uh, like Hulk Hogan's do. Oh oh, it goes for the uh. Full Nelson there misses Hogan. Hogan tags in uh, Muhammad Ali again uh, and goes for the fucking. Oh my God! Further, further shots to the back of Hogan's head. This is, this is a oh 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 my God! Oh 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 man, that's got to be it for Hogan. Hogan's been doing this for, for almost uh for almost fifteen minutes now, and 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 I gotta tell you folks, I, I commend his effort. I really do. Um. I do not believe he has any more left in him. Uh, I believe Hogan is 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 done. Um, oh, but no! <laughs> uh, Muhammad Ali with the kicks, showing he knows how to kick thanks to that training from Mr. Miyagi. Uh, still relying heavily on punches. Uh, Hogan, Hogan collapsing after every shot, but still getting up. Honestly, it's commendable, his heroism. And he throws Muhammad Ali outside the ring and then poses for added effect. Um... Oh, oh, oh my god, oh, pile driver to Muhammad Ali. Uh, Hogan drags him in the middle of the ring and puts him in the camel clutch break and make him humble. But the entirety of the order to end Hulkamania, uh, that is, uh, once again, I repeat, Kenny Omega, Mr. Kennedy, Muhammad Ali, and Mr. Miyagi, uh, come in to, to save uh, Muhammad Ali from the Cobra, uh, from the camel clutch from, from Hulk Hogan. Uh, Hulk Hogan does a... Does a uh, does a, a back suplex. I don't remember the entire name of it. Uh, and oh, okay. Does a running power slam on uh, on Mr. Mr. Kennedy. Uh, Hulk Hogan goes to the top rope and hits the double axe handle. Uh, <laughs> sure, that's something Hogan did. And Mr. Miyagi back in once again. Uh, the leader of this. Uh, oh my God. Uh, the leader of this uh, of this group here, Kenny Omega. Um, not not really. Uh. Not really doing a lot. Hulk Hogan. Oh my god! <laughs> Mr. Miyagi and Hogan share some boots. Um, and oh, Hogan hits the leg drop and Miyagi says, fuck your finish and gets up, sharing a big boot and a running knee drop. Uh, and he's going for another, but Hogan gets up. Hogan gets up and then just gets the shit pounded out of him by Miyagi. Uh, and goes for the pin. Um, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it appears that the alliance to end Hulkamania, uh, which is Kenny Omega, Mr. Kennedy, uh, Muhammad Ali, and, and, uh, <clears throat> Mr., Mr. Miyagi have defeated Hulk Hogan, um, in, in what can only be seen as a, um, a very obvious conclusion, but still, um, much respect to Hulk Hogan for lasting almost 20 minutes, um, but he did eventually lose to the wax on, wax off. Um, and my phone has, uh, my phone has gone off now. Um, and I need to grab that because it is not that important actually. Um, but it might be, so I need to grab it. Give me a sec. Okay. Um, it's not that important. Um. So, um, so the team to end Hulkamania is going on. Uh, so it looks like the Stevie team and the Wii Fit team are going to uh, compete. This one looks to be probably a closer match because there's, you know, not a three-on-one advantage or four-on-one advantage, but there is a four-on-three advantage. So um, very interesting. It's going to, depending on who's on Stevie team and who's on Wii Fit team, uh, this might um, be, be important. Um, also super happy that, uh, Hogan lost because then if he won this entire tournament, I would have just given him the title. Um, 
Okay, so it looks like uh, looks like on the Stevie team is we have uh, Acolytes era Bradshaw. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a pretty good team, not going to lie. Or that's a pretty good team member. Um, Acolytes era Bradshaw uh, can, can knock some people's heads off. Uh, it also looks like uh, Toro Yanu is uh is in is in uh Stevie team which yeah that fits buy his DVD <laughs> That's good whoever created this uh whoever created this character that that's fucking good that's solid I like that um uh, let's see who's oh I didn't mean to skip it all okay so um that's that's a problem uh okay let's see who's here uh it looks like Kurt Henning and somebody. I think that might be Michael Cole. Um, I believe that might be Butch Reed. Uh, and I don't know who that one is. Uh, I didn't realize I would skip everyone. Um, but we fit trainer going, going nuts puts, uh, I, God, I want to say that's the the mustache guy. No, it's not. It can't be. Wolfgang? Is that Wolfgang? Um, either way, he's in a headlock. Uh, tags in Toriana, who I do know. Um, oh, that's Stevie Ray. <laughs> that's that's why it's Team Stevie. Um, that's good. And then Kurt Henning and God, I don't know who that is. I almost want to say it's Attitude Era Michael Cole, but I need to see him in action. Uh, we fit trainer tags in Kurt Henning. Uh. Kurt Henning to a, a dream match. I'm sure many people wish to uh, wish to see in their lives. Um, good news is that we can watch the entrances of the next uh, the next match, and we'll know who uh, who the winners are at least. Well, we'll know who the winners are by the end of the match when we can see the names. Um, goes for the stalling suplex there. Toriano does. Um, Toriano uh, mm -hmm. dominating in this in this early showing here. Um, we fit trader watching on as her as her team uh, her her admittedly shortened team. Um, I have no idea who the fuck that is. Is that Eddie? That might be Eddie. That's Eddie. I don't know why Eddie's dressed like that, but that's Eddie Guerrero. Um, sweets. So now all I have to do is figure out who that dude. And that might just be some dude on the British like in in in, in progress. Like I said, I don't know a lot of progress people. I'm almost certain that's Eddie Guerrero, um, but I don't remember downloading Eddie with that skin. It's possible that they, if I randomly select them, they also randomly select the, uh, they also randomly select the, uh, attire. I don't know why Eddie Guerrero just has a all gray attire. Um, oh, and the head butt to the balls on Eddie Guerrero, I think, um, Eddie Guerrero and JBL, a, 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 a great match. Uh, they, they've had many before. Um, much later in the lives of them being represented right now. Um, we Fit Trainer has uh, potentially two dead people on our team. Um, whereas uh, Team Stevie has zero. Uh, and technically, We Fit Trainer was never alive. So it is, uh, it is three dead people on the team of We Fit Trainer. Uh, she also puts uh, Bradshaw in a leg lock. And uh, we fit trainer knocking both, both people back. Um, that's a gross noise for an eye gouge. Oh, oh my God! Oh, okay. We fit trainer yoga not, not giving her inner peace there. Um, oh, and. Uh, we fit trainer with the with the stat mare and the leg lock right in front of Team Stevie's tag. The two team captains going at it, and oh my goodness, she is just going nuts, uh, doing it right in front of Team Stevie's members, uh, just to show you know, just as the morale hit really. Um, and now she is getting double teamed by uh, by Stevie Ray and this mysterious man. Um, Getting getting choke pinned, uh, so Kurt Angle or Kurt Henning and what I believe to be Eddie Guerrero, uh, come in to save her against this, uh, man, uh, this this un unnamed unnamed wrestler, uh, this unnamed assailant, um.
We don't know who he is. He hasn't uh, he hasn't signed a contract with the TTWA yet. Um, they just said that they would put us in the match, or they just said that they would get a fourth man, and it was kind of short notice. It was gonna be it was gonna be uh, Stevie Ray's brother Booker, but he came down with a case of the uh, flu, uh, so they they didn't have him in the match. Isn't that right, Commissioner Cat? He's asleep now. We'll tell him the results later, and he'll make his decision on uh, on this. Now, these uh, these teams are, in fact, competing for uh, a, a chance uh, to fight each other um, for the uh, Totem Trouser Wrestling Alliance title. Um, that will be a clusterfuck. I also imagine this tournament might take a long time um, because it is indeed... Oh my goodness, who is this man? That was not an Eddie Guerrero move. That was not an Eddie Guerrero move at all. Um, Oh, wow, that's a great hold. Um, but Bradshaw not having any of it. And, uh, and and the man, potentially known as Eddie Guerrero, does not care and just pins him right in front of his team. Uh, and then throws the Stevie Ray out and starts fighting Toro. Now throws Toro out. Oh, it's a brawl. It's a snaz. Oh, look at everyone in the ring. Oh, it's a brawl. The, the Earl, referee Earl Hebner has completely lost control of this match. Uh, there's a chair involved now. Uh, it looks like it looks like uh, the teams have, have uh, returned to their post. Uh, there is a chair in the ring, however. Um, yes, Toro Yanu, and who I'm beginning to increasingly doubt is Eddie Guerrero. Uh, uh, go and add it until Eddie Guerrero potentially ends up starting to have to wrestle this mysterious man. Two very mysterious men in this uh, in this in this match. Um, one would think, well. Why don't you know the name of all your wrestlers? To that, I would say, because my commissioner is a cat. He pays the rent and the bills. We just do what he says. We just normally feed him, really. That's all he really wants. Feed him, keep his shit box clean. Cuddle when he wants. But only when he wants. If you cuddle when he doesn't want, it's a problem. Um, oh, and goes for another uh, inverted neckbreaker here. Um, oh, and... Uh, Really cool suplex broken up at the two and uh, starts a, a massive, a massive snaz. Um, both active competitors knocked out. Um, uh, d d both active competitors being, you know, the ones that I don't know. And Bradshaw gets tagged in and I can start saying names. That's good. Um, Bradshaw gets tagged in and uh, goes uh, for the getting suplex maneuver uh, and also the elbow and and the donkey punches. Oh, and he donkey punches who I believe to be Eddie Guerrero in the back of the head enough times to... Oh! Oh, and just does not have time for Kurt Henning, does, uh, does Bradshaw. And go misses the clothesline from hell. <laughs> Now the two teams are locked up in combat. Um, what appears, uh, Kurt Henning going to the top rope, goes for the crossbody, nails it. It's a pin, but Bradshaw gets a rope break. Sorry, it turns out the text message was important. Um... But, but yeah, so Toru Yanu and Kurt Henning going at it once again, a, a dream match, uh, many would say. Uh, a technical genius like Toru Yanu uh, lending, his, lending his skills to the up-and-comer Kurt Henning. Um, oh, and Toru Yanu goes for the low blow that he is so famous for. Uh, and a, uh, a, uh, looks to be a, uh, a jumping stomp going for... The third jumping stomp, and uh, on the third one, Kurt Henning just gets up, because fuck selling. Um, Koreana dragging Kurt Henning to the middle, uh, shrugs his shoulders, and does a knee drop on the back of his neck. Uh, 
Uh, oh, and oh, that's not how Bulldogs work. And also, somehow, Kurt Henning got out of it. Uh, and uh, Kurt Henning goes for the running knee. Does not work so well. And uh, Kurt Henning uh, drops to Oriano. Toriyanu not looking good. Uh, not looking good at all. Momentum has definitely shifted uh, to Toru Yanu. Uh, and it looks like we're we're getting a, a, a running around. It appears that they're struggling for the pin. And Toru Yanu has won this struggle for the pin. And 2.9! Kurt Henning gets saved by Wii Fit Trainer. And oh! Oh, it looks like Kurt Henning's knocked out! Kurt Henning's out! Kurt Henning has been knocked out of this match. The the team captain, uh, Wii Fit Trainer, has stepped up to try and save her team, but it is now, oh! Very much not in her team's favor. It appears uh, she is uh, she is, she is struggling here, and uh, it looks she puts the submission. She is trying to even up the score as, as much as humanly possible, and it is not working. It appears that the man who potentially is Eddie Guerrero is, uh, is not really able to hold his ground. Uh, and that's a problem against these three very, very serious competitors. Now, once again, I, I, I do mention that the, um, the winners of, uh, of this match will, um, or the winners of this tournament will, will have a, ta uh, a title opportunity. Um, they would, they will all have to fight each other. So, um, Kurt Henning is dead. Uh, so they will all, um, have to, you know, fight each other uh so so they're not the most trusting of each other but they 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 do have a desire here and you can see this teamwork here as they all gang up on this fictional yoga instructor uh and uh fun fun trivia fact we fit trainer is the uh the first person i downloaded in uh in this game um because she is currently the number one most popular um uh creator wrestler and she gets punched in the balls and goes down um not normally how balls work, but oh wow, look at that! That is a chokehold. We fit trainer is a submission specialist, uh, and and I really want to to see more from her. Uh, and oh, she puts him into a rear naked choke. She is trying so hard to 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 get something going for her team, and she locks in the arm bar. But Stevie Ray comes in, uh, being. You know, the captain of his team, uh, saving Toriyanu, who apparently was not the legal man, uh, referee Earl Hebner, uh, quite quickly losing control of this match, um, both, both captains down, this is a, this is a great match, um, uh, and, 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 a great match with great competitors, uh, Stevie Ray taking, taking a knee while his team does the dirty work of, of taking down We Fit Trainer, uh, you gotta think if uh, the the loss of Wee Fit Trainer would be devastating um, for for her team, uh, it would leave the man known as Eddie Guerrero to uh, to compete against four four very very tough individuals who who do not have a, a will to give up. And it looks like that is the case. Wee Fit Trainer has been eliminated, uh, and the man known as Eddie Guerrero has just been power bombed. Um, and oh wait, it looks like well. So that was it. Uh, that was the match. However, upon uh, realization, it appears that um, that that Stevie Ray was eliminated by Wee Fit Trainer. Um, <coughs> I don't know if that's particularly important. That's mean, Mark. Oh, that was Shia LaBeouf. I'm sorry, uh, Shia LaBeouf and uh, Mean Mark. Um, don't know who that one is. That's going to be fun. I hope he doesn't win, because I don't know how to find him. Um, I think that was supposed to be Mean Mark Calloway, but that does not look like Mean Mark Calloway. Um, so the match uh, ends with uh, with Team Stevie winning. Good match, actually. Very fun to watch. Uh, so this next match, we have Team Kenny versus Team Stevie. Of course, we have uh, the team stalwart, uh, Kenny uh, Kennedy. Um, Ken I, I spoke to Kenny Omega, and he he told me he picked uh, Mr. Kennedy because they have a similar sounding name. Sent him out first to uh, to fuck with me a little bit. Um, also, he's out first so we can announce his team. Uh, and then the uh, the the assassin, the man who hates Hulkamania, Mr. Miyagi hates it because he beat the shit out of Hulk Hogan repeatedly like he kicked that dude in the next week uh Hulk Hogan 
uh, has not woken up, ladies and gentlemen. He is uh he has been uh, unconscious since last match, and uh, the man who helped Miyagi do that, uh, Muhammad Ali, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, the the greatest boxer to ever live. Uh, currently, will be going up against the team of Bradshaw, Stevie Ray, Torianu, and Mean Mark. I'd like to reiterate the team of Kenny Omega, Muhammad Ali, Mr. Miyagi, Mr. Kennedy. Uh, and the team of Stevie Ray, uh, Bradshaw, Torianu, and Mean Mark are our finalists for this tournament. Um, it does appear that perhaps making it a uh, an elimination tournament did stack the uh, the deck in the odds of the the four person teams. Uh, however, shut up. Uh, many people sharing similar themes. Um, Let's watch some of these that we didn't get to see. Like, uh, like the man, Mr. Elimination, Toru ya uh, uh, Mean Mark, who, who eliminated, I believe, uh, two, if not more, of the wrestlers, um, from We Fit Trainers team. Uh, I believe Bradshaw got the elimination on... The third member of We Fit Trainers team. I don't remember who that person was. Because it's not important. They lost. Team captain starting out. Uh, let's see if Kenny Omega does the same strategy that he did in the Hulk Hogan match. Which was to not fight at all. Um, it does appear that he is at least grappling a little bit with Stevie Ray here. Perhaps he sees Stevie Ray as less of a threat than Hulk Hogan. Uh, however, he is making moves towards his tag team. Uh, and... Uh, Oh, no, it looks appears that he's pulling Stevie Ray out, but he has split the ring. Um, but no, he hasn't, because uh, Stevie Ray has tagged in Bradshaw, who, uh, who in turn has, uh, has, Kenny Omega in turn has tagged in uh, Muhammad Ali, which, honestly, I would watch a match between uh, Bradshaw and Muhammad Ali just to see Bradshaw get his ass kicked. So this is pretty satisfying for me. Um, Brad, uh, Muhammad Ali going for the, uh, for the, for the chest blow. And the knee, which Muhammad Ali has uh, found much favor in. Uh, and Muhammad Ali just dominating Bradshaw in this early beginning of this match here. Um, but Torianu coming in uh, to, to save his uh, his newfound friend, JBL. Uh, JBL uh, tags in Torianu. Torianu and JBL do a tag team move. And it looks like uh, Torianu gets, goes for an early pin uh, there. Gets a one. Um... That's a strange move. Uh, Mr. Miyagi getting tagged in. This is a great team. Uh, uh, Muhammad Ali and Mr. Miyagi. And they both go for insecurities. Um, uh, Mr. Miyagi puts uh, Torianu into a single leg Boston crab. And it does not work out very well. Mr. Kennedy grabs Torianu to prevent him from doing any more damage. And gets countered um, before Miyagi can really capitalize. And oh no, it's an outside the ring smaz. All members... Of the team are involved in a brawl. We are at a seven count. Eight, nine, with no look. It does not look like Yanu or Miyagi getting up, getting in the ring. Uh, Yanu is in the ring. So is Miyagi. And also, I just want to point out that uh, Muhammad Ali did a jumping high kick there. Uh, and, oh, no. He goes for the wax on, wax off, and just beats the shit. Sits on Yanu's face for some reason, God, I love Miyaki. I hope his team wins. I know I'm supposed to be unbiased, but I really want that man to be our champion. <laughs> <coughs> oh, nope. Oh, and uh, and Yanu telling, winning that uh, shot of blows. Miyagi still still a little bit confused there. Uh, I would like to point out that the uh, the team closer, Mean Mark, has not been. He just went for a fucking stunner. Uh, mean Mark has not been in uh, the match at all, and uh, and a uh, a uh, 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 a power slam there. And oh oh my God, that was a burning hammer. Uh, Miyagi is killing it tonight. Like Kenny has to look at Miyagi's performance and be one scared because if Kenny wins, he will have to go against Mr. Miyagi. But two. Miyagi has shown great resolve here. Um, just dominating 
uh, in this early early sec- segments. The, so much that they had Tag and me, Mark, who they, if you noticed, kept purposely away from Miyagi. Um, now, Kenny Omega here counters the uh, suplex. Uh, Bradshaw Irish whips him into uh, his own corner, which, considering that out of everyone in this match, um, Bradshaw and Stevie Ray are the only two people who have ever been successful tag teams that I know of. Uh, you, you would think that maybe they would, uh, they would split the ring a little bit more. Toriyano, actually, yeah. No, I would just like to actually, wait, hold up. I would like to point out that, uh, Team Stevie, um, with the exception of Mean Mark, who potentially is, uh, is a tag team expert, uh, literally all tag team wrestlers. <laughs> uh, Bradshaw is a tag team wrestler. Toriyano, uh, is, is a tag team wrestler with Chaos, uh, and, and Stevie Ray has literally only ever been a tag team wrestler. So, um, really, really surprising strategy. Maybe these, uh, maybe these four just aren't gelling in a way, um, to, to really show much tag team strategy. However, uh, they do know when to go in, uh, for the smas. uh, referee Earl Hebner losing minor control of this match. Uh, Miyagi stunned in the corner, gets out, uh, Bradshaw having just, just going off on, on Mr. Kennedy so much that Mr. Kennedy goes in and tags in Muhammad Ali who gets a running side slam for his trouble. Uh, me, oh, and what is this? Is this a power bomb? It is. Oh, and uh, goes for the pin, gets the one count before before Team Kenny can come in and save the day. Um, uh Ali goes for the punch to the mouth of, uh, of, of Bradshaw, uh, gets a kick in the stomach, uh, for his troubles. Oh, and he gets a clothesline from health. That has to be it. Oh, but no, Miyagi comes in. Oh, and touch! Oh, oh! I think Miyagi's knocked out Stevie Ray. I think Stevie Ray's out. Stevie Ray is out. Miyagi, with a kick to the head, has has turned the tides in his team's favor. Um, Kennedy has a microphone up his ass. That's probably not legal. Felix, is that legal? Still asleep. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and the power bomb. It looks like uh, it looks like these criticals have really been kind of the thing that uh, that has turned the tides here uh, in in this tournament uh, in these multi man matches. Because now um, Team Stevie not only is it out a leader, uh, it has it it is down a man, um, which will uh, in turn be in- incredibly troubling for them. Um, Especially in these in these big match smazes, and I I believe Bradshaw has been eliminated. Yes, Bradshaw Bradshaw has been eliminated. Oh and oh no, it's a four and one on Toriano. Toriano is is the only man left on his team. But to be fair, Toriano apparently gave up on his team. He did not. Uh, he did not seek to to join uh to to to, to help uh Mean Mark. Um. Toriano shrugging off, shrugging off the, uh, the damage he's sustaining. Uh, one has to think that at this point it's just elementary. Oh, and Miyagi, the, the, the elderly, the elderly, the elderly assassin, Mr. Miyagi, uh, gets tagged in here to, to effectively kill, uh, Toriano, uh, which it looks like, uh, is happening. And I gotta tell you folks, uh, if, if it were to be, um, Team Kenny going on to be the potential, and it will be the uh, the four number one contenders for the Totem Trials of Wrestling Alliance Tag Team Champ or uh, t- Team Championship is the team of Mr. Miyagi, uh, Kenny Omega, Mr. Kennedy, and uh, and Muhammad Ali. Which I'll be honest with you, I'd be okay with with uh, everyone except for Mr. Kennedy. Which because of that, Mr. Kennedy will win. Um, but man, Miyagi. Really, someone to to apparently watch out for because he has been, he has just been dominating. Uh, and and that's 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 got to be worrying. Let me write that down. Um, 
so Kenny Omega, Mr. Kennedy, <laughs> Mohammed Ali. I would like to point out that Mohammed was also a playable, uh, someone I could have downloaded. I, I decided to not do that as that would cause many problems and I don't really look to offend people uh, on my Twitch chat. Um, I did download Jesus, but I'm Catholic, so I figured that was was okay. Uh, and also, the Hitler thing was an accident, so whoops. <laughs> um, I'm gonna keep him though, cause I don't know how to get rid of him. I know how to put him in retire, but like honestly, like well, you know, hey, I'm down for watching Hitler get his ass kicked. Um, so you know, hey, whatever. Uh, and Mr. Miyagi. So, what's next? Well, uh, what would be next would be the gruesome fighting tournament for the tournament title. Uh, for the tournament title, we're not gonna do 32 tonight. Uh, we're just gonna do eight. Um, because my, my voice is starting to go, and I think I can only probably do a, a little bit longer. Um, so, uh, we are going to... Oh, and the referee has been selected as Big Bear. That's fine, I'll take that. Um, it does not appear that I can change anything about this. Um, so let's us see who our four entrants will be, um, for the tournament title. Uh, Van Hammer, in, in match one, it will be Van Hammer versus Gorgeous George. Uh, in match three, it will be Kendo Nagasaki versus uh, Tiger Mask. In, um, in match five, it will be Biggie versus Misty. And in match seven, Kid Lyoko's coming back uh, for a progress match against Tony Storm. Uh, this, this appears to be a very good tournament. Um, oh, and it switched everyone. That's a damn shame. Okay, well, um, let's see what we get now. Um, less interesting, and I don't know who that person is, so we're just gonna, okay, let's, uh, let's actually just kind of, um, let's see here, uh, match one, shit, man, that's a fucking annoying, um, ah, Damn it. Okay. So, what we'll do. The matches I remember. We will, uh, we'll do. Um. And we learned today. That, uh. To, to keep an eye on, uh. Keep an eye on if the title has been added. So, like I said early on. This is very much me, um kind of testing the waters, trying to figure out how this all works. Uh, so, you know, the first paper, uh, the first show is a little rough. You know, it happens, whatever. Uh, we want the European independence because I believe that's where I have Tony Storm. Yes. Oh, we can pick a, appearances here. Let's see here. Uh, let's do red. I like red. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, and then it was we had uh, Biggie Langston right it's not alphabetical order at least I don't think it is no it's not okay good uh, my phone is apparently on silence itself I apologize for that um Where is Biggie Langston? Oh God. <laughs> Where did I put Biggie? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I Tyson Kidd is not a... Yeah, I, I didn't have anywhere else to put him. <laughs> uh,
well then. Huh. Hmm. This is gonna bother me because I like I am kind of a perfectionist with this shit. So, um who is that by the way? Oh, that's Shane Strickland. I don't know why he's in Japanese. I didn't realize Shane Strickland had a Japanese following, to be honest with you. Um Hmm. Oh, well, it'll be misty. Uh, and then if we can't find Big E, then we're just gonna randomize, but. I don't know where he would have went like did I throw him in ECW on accident like I, I clearly I've put him somewhere where he's not supposed to be um, I just need to find it and I'll be real with you this isn't maybe like the best group for that if he's in WCW I'm not finding him WCW is way too big um, Okay, well, that's a, that's a shame. Uh, it appears that Big E will not be able to compete in this tournament as he uh, he has left he has left the building. Uh, however, uh, who can compete in this tournament is uh, some of the people that uh, that I do remember being in the match, like uh, like Tiger Mask here. I don't remember if it was one or two. So we're just going to go with two. Oh, cool. Right, because Tiger Mask 2 is just Misawa. That's cool. Let's do uh, Let's do that. Uh, and then uh, Kendo Nagasaki, who I don't recognize that name. So I'm going to probably assume he's an MMA guy. See, I could probably put like people like Frankie Kazarian and TNA if I really wanted to, but I don't, I don't know what what is Frankie Kazarian doing anymore. It's kind of Nagasaki. See, I don't know who that is. So, like, when I don't know who they are, it makes it really hard for me to find them. As, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know who they are. So, uh, the name sounds super familiar. Um, I just couldn't tell you why. Oh, and Van Hammer was in a match to, um, I don't remember against who, so I'll just throw him in there. Um. Okay. So let's do this, right? So we'll we'll mix the cards up a little. Um, we know Kid Leokos, so that's not a problem. 
Um, there's a ass a nine amount, by the way, of, of WCW jobbers that I have. Um, probably more than I really want, but like whatever. Um, where you at, private? Uh, private major stash. Um, there you are, douche. Um, yeah. Oh shit! No, no, no. Um, you know what? I can't. So, here's how we'll do it, right? Uh, we'll random entry everyone else, right? So, uh, Sid Vicious, uh, against, uh, Van Hammer, Jazzy Gabbard against Tommy Rogers, Stephanie McMahon against Misty, uh, and Tony Storm against Kid Lyoko. Seeing as, um, we are running a little bit short on time, I am going to bump this to 125, uh, and make the, the I'll leave the critical there. Um, there will be a, uh, amount of three, three, five minute rounds, uh, five, five minute rounds, because I actually do want people to 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 lose uh give up only um however if you get knocked the fuck out i imagine you will um also still lose uh so um let us continue on with our match uh your your referee for the evening will be big bear um and now let us go a lot of women representation in this uh half the half the uh competitors are are women um which is great Great. It's good to see, you know, like I said, here at the Tome Trouser Wrestling Alliance, we uh, we, we do not have a problem against women. Um, uh, Van Hammer and Savicious. Savicious, uh, Savicious taking an early lead here. Van Hammer going for the early eye gouge. Big Bear appearing to let that happen. Um, and, and Van, oh my god, Van Hammer uh, getting, getting knocked to the ground more often than he probably like. Uh, in this first round here, um, it appears that Sid Vicious uh, knocking down Van Hammer. Um, and Van Hammer going for the uh, suplex here on Sid Vicious. Going back to the eyes, uh, trying to maybe make it to where Sid Vicious can't see Van Hammer. Um, however, Big Bear, who is very much uh, getting in the way of everything, is, uh, is, is just letting that happen. He goes in for the camel clutch, gets out of it to Sid Vicious. Sid Vicious goes in for the test of strength, and they both disagree that they're both just so fucking strong. Uh, Sid, uh, Sid Vicious gets a punch in the head for his troubles, and the headbutt goes down to Sid Vicious, uh, and takes an elbow to the neck. Uh, it appears here that, uh, Sid Vicious is definitely winning this first round of, uh, of the tournament here. Uh, Sid Vicious going for a power slam. This is a knockouts only. This is basically a, a MMA fight, uh, which is great considering, uh, for Van Hammer, considering he's the only one in here with any shoot fighting experience that I know of. Um, oh, and they go for the suplex. Van Hammer can't seem to get it off, but the strength of Sid Vicious means that he can. Um, Sid Vicious going for the elbow to the back of the head, stomping. Um, as you can see here, Sid Vicious very much out of his element. Uh, doesn't really do a lot other than punch and stomp. Um, but, but it is getting the job done. He is appear to be winning against Van Hammer. Van Hammer having to result to tactics like the eye, eye gouge. And, uh, now he is in the camel clutch and Sid Vicious is able to hold that in. But it does appear that Van Hammer is able to get out of it. Uh, and, uh, Sid Vicious knocks Van Hammer straight down, goes for a giant swing. Uh, the big bear asking Van Hammer if he gives up. He does not... Um, and that was the end of our first round there. You got to think that the judges have to give that one to Sid Vicious. Um, I think this is a good speed. This is a pretty decent speed. Um, oh, Van Hammer, though, does not want to take another round loss. Going for it. Going for the low blow. Van Hammer fighting dirty in this tournament. A uh, big bear looking to see if uh, Sid Vicious uh, gives up to the camel clutch, which apparently is both of these men's signature submission move. Um, and oh no, it looks like we got a full Boston Crab here. Uh, Van Hammer says no to giving up, does eventually get out of it. Both men miss a, uh, miss a clothesline here. Um, oh, and Sid Vicious getting, getting him down with the headlock and cranking it on. Van Hammer uh, having, having a real hard time there. Um... Uh, Oh, and look at that. He is just cranking, cranking on with that, with that head. Um. Oh, oh, is he out? Oh, with the power bomb, and it, Van Hammer's out. Sid Vicious moves on to the second round of the tournament.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a, a very sudden ending. Um, Van Hammer loses in the second round. Uh, in two, two minutes and 33, 37 seconds of the second round to Sid Vicious, who moves on uh, to the second round of the tournament where he will fight the winner of, uh, of Jazzy Gabbert versus Tommy Rogers. I'll be honest with you, my money's on Jazzy. <laughs> Oh, but Tommy Rogers goes in for the uh, the leg sweep there, and uh, Jazzy, Jazzy is not having any of it. Oh, oh, but Tommy Rogers with the slap to the head gets her off of him. Uh, Tommy Rogers, um, outpowered by a woman right now. Um, which, hey man, I don't know if you guys have seen, uh, Jazzy. He, uh, she is very scary woman. Um, and and goes in for those for just ground and pounding Tommy Rogers. Uh, let me let me get you some some info on Tommy Rogers if you're like me and have no idea who he is. Uh, it's Tommy Rogers. Um, uh, the the late Tommy Rogers. Uh, who we brought back from the dead for this tournament um, was one half of the tag team, the Fantastics, with Bobby Fulton. Okay, I've heard of them. Um, he started wrestling in 1980 as uh, as, as Tommy Rogers uh, in North Carolina. He made his pro debut as a replacement for Charlie Cook in a match with Eddie Mansfield in a no form with no formal training. Tommy then headed to Florida for a brief stay. Uh, before heading to Portland, then Memphis, where he met his future tag team partner, Bobby Fulton. Uh, in a trade agreement between Memphis and uh, Mid-South, the newly formed Fantastics headed to Mid-South, where they had their first major program with the Midnight Express. Um, so so that's Tommy Rogers. He's a tag team wrestler. Uh, and he is not doing well here uh, in this tournament. But no, oh, it looks like he gets Jazzy down with a couple shots to the back of the head. Um... Uh, his, his finisher is the Tamikaze, uh, and it doesn't matter, oh no, the round is over, uh, man, Tommy Rogers probably really happy to not get beaten down anymore, and once again, just like last round, we see, uh, we see an amount of, uh, of wrestlers, uh, the, the loser of the last round coming in, uh, really hot and heavy on that, uh, on the second round, probably told by his management, you know, hey, you need to get in there, you need to, you, you need you need to start hitting them hard because they're kicking your ass. You don't want to look like Van Hammer. Uh, and uh, is he out? He's out. Oh, he's out. Jazzy Gabbard. Oh, man. I'm actually really excited to see her and Sid Vicious just go at it. Uh, Tommy Rogers. Um, dead again. Tommy Rogers. Um, rest in peace, Tommy Rogers. Maybe you'll show up again in the tournament. Um, so our next match is one that uh is Stephanie McMahon versus Misty from from Pokemon. Um this is, uh, this is the first uh all woman fight we've had in uh the TTWA and you know, hey, they're same as men, you know, they can they can they can wrestle just as much as men and they will have to wrestle a man. Uh maybe this might end up being an all woman tournament um because Obviously, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a woman going on uh, at the end of this match, and then next match uh, is Kid Leokos um, versus Tony Storm, who could very much win. Kid, you know, he 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 had a a grueling uh, a grueling uh, you know barbed wire death match, uh, C4 death match uh, earlier tonight. So you know he's probably not at a hundred percent. Don't know why he signed up for this tournament. He's already a champion, but, you know, hey, live and die by the rando, technically. Uh, so, so that's that's how this works. Referee Big Bear getting getting in there, making sure uh, nobody nobody gets too injured here. Uh, and and Misty going going nuts on it. Um, yep, no, Misty Misty going crazy with uh, with it. Um, I'd like to point out that. Uh, that Misty is the only non-real entity in uh in this match. Uh, she every everyone except for Misty in this tournament uh is is needs to shut the fuck up. Uh, everyone uh except for Misty in this tournament is a real person, whereas Misty is a cartoon character. Um, 
so far. No, uh, the only we only have three champions. Uh, we only have one champion uh, belt awarded to people, but they are all real individuals. Um, where and uh, we do have Mr. Miyagi in contention for the uh, for the world heavyweight championship. Um, but but Misty could be the first non-real champion here. Uh, and we have gotten to the second round pretty pretty even showing, honestly. Um, but, you know, this is early in the second round is where we've seen all of our knockouts so far. Oh, 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 looks like Misty's getting choked out. Nope, and she gets out of it. Uh, does not submit here, uh, but gets DDT'd for her troubles, uh, and, and, oh, and kicks, uh, kicks Stephanie McMahon there, um, does not appear to, uh, oh, and, uh, a football tackle goes for the pin, pins do not count in, uh, in, in the all, in the, in the, in the tournament title tournament, um, <laughs> Oh man, Misty, Misty going nuts on uh, on on Stephanie here, but she keeps going for pinfalls, and that's gonna be her downfall because it gives Stephanie time to to counter, and she takes many knees to her head uh, as, as punishment for for letting Stephanie kind of get get control of the match. Um, referee Big Bear um, staying high and heavy on the action here. Um, Oh, and, uh, 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 I, spinning neckbreaker, thank you, um, spinning neckbreaker into a bulldog. Multiple bulldogs, and, uh, and going for the pin attempt again does, uh, does Misty, uh, which, you know, it, it's almost as if she does not actually know the rules of the match. Uh, goes for a spinning leg kick there, gets kicked in the balls, uh, or punched in, punched in where her testicles would be if she had any, um, and, uh, and, oh, is she down? She's out! She, Stephanie McMahon, with only 14 seconds left in the second round, has taken out Misty, uh, and confirmed that our champion, uh, our first tournament champion will be a real person. So, Stephanie McMahon in the second round, uh... In the four minutes and 46 seconds of the second round has uh, knocked Misty out of the tournament and out of consciousness. Uh, our next match will be Tony Storm versus Kid Lyoko. Say a progress match. Both of these, uh, both of these wrestlers currently do, uh, do wrestle for, uh, the independent scene, uh, in, in Britain. Uh, they, they, their home turf, uh, as to my understanding is, is, is progress. Uh, so, you know, Kid Lyokos is already, uh, is already a champion in, uh, in our, in our, you know, in our, in our federation here. Um, so we, we look forward to perhaps seeing, uh, seeing our first, uh, dual champion crowned in, in Kid Leokos. Um, Kid, Kid Leokos, a, uh, a tag team wrestler, um, currently holding a tag team title. Um, normally when he's not working here, he, he wrestles for, uh, CCK, which I, uh, do need to look up who the other member is, um, for two reasons, to make sure I have them, uh, and also just because I, I don't remember off the top of my head right now. Um, Oh, and going for the choke does uh does Kid Lyokos here. Chris Books, apparently. Also might just be Kid Lyokos' real name. Oh my god, kid! Okay, um...
Yeah, it looks like Chris Brooks is uh, – or Travis Banks, one of the two. I think it's Travis Banks. I think Chris Brooks might be Kid Leoko's real name. Um, but either way, um, we don't talk about real names here. We talk about wrestle names. Isn't that right, Commissioner? So we are in the second round, the the knockout round, uh, as as has come to be uh, come to be. Um, and Kid Lyoko's here in domineering fashion. Um, Kid Lyoko's been been domineering fashion this entire match, really. Um, and oh no! Oh, but it looks like Tony Storm has knocked him out, and it looks like uh, it looks like all those uh, those barbed wire shots uh, did not do well for him because he is unconscious. Uh, just dead. He is dead. Uh, Tony Storm moves on after a knockout. Uh, one minute and 43 seconds in the second round. Uh, so there's only one competitor in this tournament that is male. Our, our, it's very possible that a woman will be our first uh, tournament title champion. Um, however, it depends on the uh, the result of this match. Between uh, Sid Vicious and Chassie Gabbert, which I am actually very excited for this match. <laughs> They're basically the same person, but with different genitals. And that's why this match is so exciting. Excuse me if I uh, watch this match uh, like a fan because my throat hurts from talking so much. Uh, <laughs> This is my favorite submission. Oh, and they're sharing shots, both of them going down. Oh, but but Sid Vicious, uh, Sid Vicious capitalizing on it a little bit faster, um, and and repeatedly repeatedly going for shots to the back on Jazzy Gabbard puts her in a Cobra clutch. Uh, does not appear to really make her a very happy individual. She puts him in a uh, in a camel clutch, or uh, I'm sorry, in a, in a in a Boston crab. Um, but he does get out of it, and now they are just sharing bows, like, just sharing elbows like it is their job, uh, which technically it is. Um, my cat is paying them. Uh, and that is the end. Oh, but Sid Vicious with a late shot! Sid Vicious goes for a very early clothesline, misses it. Uh, Jazzy Gabbert, though, does end up falling and being put into a, a Boston Crab here. Sid Vicious fighting, um... If Sid Vicious loses this, they're, they're, he, they're, the the first ever tournament champion will be a woman, um, which is totally cool. Um, I honestly kind of prefer I prefer Jazzy. Honestly, Jazzy is my favorite to win this tournament. Um, so, you know, I, 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 yeah, she's my she's my favorite to win this tournament. I uh, I, I expect great things from her in the TTWA. Um, provided she ever shows up again, because there are a lot of people, and I randomize everything. Um, with the exception there, I, I do notice, um, you know, my, uh, one second, let me actually, let me get my commissioner. He does have to say something real quick. Um, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, the commissioner of the TTWA, Felix, the cat, um, does have an announcement at the end of this match. Um, about the uh, the three man tag team titles. Um, but he does want to watch all of this, huh? Yes, you do. Oh, yes. Hello. Hi. Yes, Commissioner. I am doing a good job. You are right. You're doing a good job, too. <laughs> You're a good boy. Oh, and Jazzy's out! Oh! 
Oh, did you see that? The Jazzy's unconscious. I agree. It was a fun match. Jazzy in an upset. Jazzy has been knocked unconscious by Sid Vicious, who uh, who who furthers the men in this match. Uh, now, Commissioner, you did say you have an announcement. Yes, uh, the Commissioner has announced that the um the following match after this tournament will be the four way for the the world heavyweight title. Um, and the losers will get a shot at the three man title. Um, wow, Commissioner, that is a that's a wonderful opportunity for them, huh? I agree. We're okay. You can you can stay here or go back to sleep if you want. I, I know I know your favorite's been knocked out. You really don't care anymore. Oh hi. Yes, hi. <laughs> do you do you wanna see Stephanie McMahon versus Tony Storm? Not many people so uh, my new favorite for this tournament would would have to be Tony Storm. Um but honestly, I mean, after after that performance from 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 Sid Vicious, both times just wonderful knockouts, both times, you you really gotta start to start to worry about him. And uh, honestly, uh, at this point, I will not be happy with the results of this tournament if I have to hear Stephanie McMahon laugh in another match or yell, for that matter. She's a very vocal wrestler, and it's it's quite grating on the ears, isn't that right, Commissioner? Commissioner is a sleepy kitty. Look at him. He's so sleepy. He had a rough day. <laughs> huh? You had a rough day? Yeah, being the commissioner is hard, huh? Let me move this down so you can see this cat more. He's a very cute cat. Yeah? Oh, the headbutt! Oh, and the eye poke from Stephanie McMahon and the... Oh, that was not an Alabama slam! Um... I could thought it was gonna be. Uh, that was a reverse pile driver, I think. I don't even know what that move was called. Um, and they're they're exchanging blows here, uh, and and uh, Jazzy Jazzy's been knocked unconscious. Uh, and and whew, uh, Tony Storm has been. Uh, oh goodness, uh, Tony Storm has been uh, put in a Boston crap. Tony Storm uh, actually not showing very well in this match here. Um, however, she only has to last another minute um, before she can get a brief reprieve in between rounds. And wow, that was a... I'm not sure who that move was supposed to hurt, but it looks like it... Yeah, uh, that, was, that was supposed to hurt. That was a muscle buster. Uh, it just appeared that Stephanie McMahon got up before the... Oh my God! It was in a first round elimination! It was! Oh, it was, Commissioner! <laughs> yeah, your eyes got big because I yelled and that's scary. I'm sorry, Commissioner. But you hired me to do this. Uh, Tony Storm is moving on to the set, to the final round after a first round elimination, the earliest elimination we have had in this tournament. Um, wow, wow. Okay, so our finals. One of these two people will be the tournament champion. It will either be Sid Vicious or it will be Tony Storm. It's going to be a blonde person, Commissioner. That much we know. Hi. I know I shouldn't kiss my boss. You're just so cute and soft and shit. <laughs> Referee Big Bear. Um, starting off the match. Uh, to Sid Vicious starting off the match with the power slam. Oh, oh, and a smack to the face and a European uppercut. And she dodges that clothesline. Tony Storm trying to show girl power here. After her friend Jazzy Gabbert, also on the European independence scene, uh, was knocked unconscious by Sid Vicious. Um, Sid Vicious has uh, has knocked out uh, Van Hammer and Jazzy Gabbert to get here. Um, meanwhile, um, Tony Storm has knocked out Kid Leokos and... Uh, and Stephanie McMahon, in both of which have to be knockout of the night contenders. Uh, so, so once again, Tony Storm, a heavy favorite going into this. But then again, Sid Vicious has made it this far, being the underdog in every single match. So it is possible he could pull off the Cinderella, uh, Cinderella upset. Yeah, Cinderella man upset and uh, 
end up, this could be his night. This could be Sid Vicious's night to hold championship gold in the TTWA, to 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 make to make a a name for himself, to to make history as the first inaugural champion of uh, the Totem Trouser Wrestling uh, Alliance. Huh? Isn't that right, Mr. Commissioner? You don't want to watch the rest of this match, Mr. Commissioner? If you have to award the title after this, you can't go back to sleep. I know. It's very upsetting. But you, you decided to take this job. Do you hear the noise? The commissioner hears the noise. Oh, Tony Storm with those muscle busters. That was the thing that softened Stephanie McMahon up. But Sid Vicious, once again, going for a late shot at the end of the round. Um, getting a brief reprieve. Uh, Sid Vicious puts Tony Storm into uh, the the uh, the Boston Crab there. Uh, not a lot of submissions happening. One would like to see a, a submission specialist like Wee Fit Trainer in one of these matches, wouldn't they? Hmm. Um, Tony Storm giving some stops to the midsection of uh, Sid Vicious. Sid Vicious giving some knees to the shoulder section of Tony Storm. Both people down. Uh, in this match, Tony Storm and Sid Vicious. Uh, Sid, Tony Storm going for that slap European uppercut and, uh, and stops to the chest that she's uh, been utilizing this entire match. Sid Vicious punching her in the face that he's been utilizing this whole tournament. Uh, oh, reverse neck breaker on Tony Storm. Tony Storm's the first up in that exchange, showing the uh, tiredness of Sid Vicious going for the power bomb, and she's out! She's out! T Sid Vicious wins! Sid Vicious is the Sid Vicious has upset every single competitor tonight. Sid Vicious is the new tournament title champion. Isn't that right, Mr. Commissioner? Look how excited the commissioner is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you want me to put you down? You've awarded the title. Good job. Um Cinderella man Sid Vicious has uh, has won this title. Uh, has earned this title. Um, he did I spell Vicious right? I did. Uh, he has shown his worth, uh, and and as as it goes, Sid Vicious will have to compete for this title um, in another tournament. However, that will be next time. Um, uh, however, tonight, uh, we do have one more match for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it will be a landmine death match. No, it will not. I apologize. We've already done one of these. It will be a barbed wire death match. And it will be. Shit. I have to figure out where Mr. Kennedy is. Uh, it will be the winners of the previous tournament. Um, Mr. Kennedy. Who has changed clothes to a gray attire. Um, I realize that now I just realized I spelled independence wrong. Um, whoops. Uh, Mr. Miyagi will also be uh, in this tournament. Um, also, having changed to a, a fighting gi. Um, Showing that he means business. Uh, the the other close was just him being casual. Um, he he is now um, a very serious competitor uh, in in this in this match. Uh, the Kenny Omega uh, will be the the third entrant into this match. Um, and he too has changed his attire. Um, 
all men trying to appear fresh to uh, to the other um, and finally the greatest who's ever lived Muhammad Ali who is wearing casual attire to this match uh, once again to oh can I not award the title that way Hold up. Right, that's why. That's annoying. The under team. Um, save that. Oh, by the way, this is what the titles look like. So this is the world title. Um, this is the tag team title. It used to be. It used to be. Uh, used to be white, uh, but then all the blood happened. Uh, it's no longer white. Uh, and then this is the attorney title, which I uh, I made uh, look like the you know the big gold. I don't know why. I just thought it'd be funny. Um, okay, cool. Let's go. Back to the match. Everyone's still here. Can't do the title. Well, whatever. I'll just assign it or something. Um, but these four men shall uh, compete now, and they're for the title. Uh, the champion, uh, the 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 referee for this evening, Tiger Hattori. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's start the match. However, I can't change where it is. Okay, let's start the match. Ladies and gentlemen, it's come to my attention that we must stop the match. As soon as I figure out what the pause button is. There it is. Uh, we have to stop the match because I forgot to change the settings. I'm a fucking idiot. Um, so, so really quick, uh, let's change the settings. So weapons, 8. Uh, speed, 125. Uh, I can't do elimination. Oh. Mm. Mm, I was going to do elimination for this, um, but I can't. Um, that's fine. Uh, uh, three count. Have only, okay, cool. Time unlimited. Explosion countdown, five. Um, so at the five-minute mark, this will be uh, an explosion. Um, oh, wait a minute. Is this a tag match? Oh, it is. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. <laughs> the winners of the tag match will compete against each other for the title. They're, uh, because I, I think I have to actually mod the game in order to make it to where, like, you know, 4v4. Um, so the winners have to fight each other for the title. Um, and then next time this happens, this won't happen. Uh, so we have the team, uh, Team Gi over here. Uh, Miyagi, Muhammad Ali, and uh, then we have Team K over here, uh, Kennedy, or Team Ken over here. Uh, that actually works really well, so let's fucking do it. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, so, uh, in order to determine who the two number one contenders are, um, we will now have a tag team tournament, or a tag team match. Um, seeing as it's a tag team match, we are going to bump it to 150, because I, I, my throat is starting to kill me. Uh... <laughs> I'm recently getting over a thing. That's why my voice is like this. Um, so anyway, um, Killer Miyagi uh, going in on uh, Ken Kennedy over here. 
Um, Kenny Omega uh, killing killing Miyagi over here. Um, it does appear that uh, that uh, shit. Uh, Miyagi and and Muhammad Ali uh, have holding the upper hand in this early beginning bout. Uh, Miyagi uh, clearly the favorite to win uh, of of myself and statistically. Um, Oh, with the kick to the back of the head of Kenny Omega, puts him in a single leg Boston Crab. Uh, Ken Kennedy, both teams, uh, both both te members of Team Ken go for a uh, a, a kick there and and do miss. Um, uh, Mr. Mihagi does a flip, does a spinning enziguri, uh backwards enziguri, and misses. It appears. Uh, does Ken uh, Kenny Omega uh, roll up on Mr. Miyagi misses. Uh, Mr. Miyagi going for uh, the the arm breaker, standing arm breaker on Kenny Omega misses that too. Uh, appears the two uh, team members have switched off uh, opponents. Uh, no one using a weapon yet. Interestingly enough, uh, we are almost at the five minute mark in which the ring will explode, um, and that will be a very very interesting moment. Uh, we have one more minute left until this ring explodes. Uh, I'm personally excited. Uh, I know it will definitely change the flow of the match, which appears to be. Um, predominantly in, uh, in, in Team Gee's, uh, Team Gee's favor here. Um, uh-oh. Uh, it appears that the ring is about to explode. Team Gee, uh, the standing team, and oh! Oh, it has exploded! Everyone is bleeding, including referee Tiger Hidori, um, who is, who is down, uh, bloodied and down. Um, uh, Mr. Miyagi, uh, is taking a little bit of time to get up. Every single person on this team, uh, in this match, including the referee, has been busted open from the explosions. Um, oh, and Mr. Miyagi goes into the barbed wire, and he is down. It is up to Muhammad Ali to kind of hold his own there for a moment. And, oh, Muhammad Ali now! And it is Mr. Miyagi's turn. He kills Kenny Omega with his foot. Um... And, and, oh, it looks like Kenny Omega just goes down from a single punch from Muhammad Ali. But then again, that's saying a lot. It's Muhammad Ali. Um, um, Mr. Miyagi gets a, uh, a reverse suplex or some description. I'm too tired to figure it out what. Uh, onto some light tubes. Um, so that probably hurt like a bitch. And he goes back into the into the, uh, into the the barbed wire. I got to tell you, Team Ken uh, utilizing the barbed wire particularly well here. Uh, yeah, meanwhile, uh, Mr. Miyagi and uh, and Muhammad Ali uh, not throwing not throwing their opponents into the uh, barbed wire as much as one would hope or using the weapons which Ken uh, Ken Anderson has has started to do and Ken Omega uh, does a spinning kick to the back of uh, of Muhammad Ali. This match has has definitely turned in the favor of uh, of of Ken, uh, team Ken here. Uh, Mr. Miyagi, they're kicking out at a, at a two count, um, but still going down. Uh, yeah, Mr. Uh, team Guy has not really been able to 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 mount any kind of offense, and so we got we got a count here. One, two, and two point nine. Huh? Muhammad Ali does kick out, um, and and gets a and gets a a, 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 a suplex there for his pressure. Oh, and uh, Muhammad Ali saves uh, Mr. Miyagi there. Uh, however, there is a roll up. It appears and uh, two point nine. Miyagi kicks out as well, but Miyagi and uh, and and uh, Ali they they need to do something here. They are they are struggling uh, struggling significantly. Kenny Omega running high knee on Miyagi decides to pick up uh, Muhammad Ali instead. And uh, and while 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 Ken uh, Ken Omega is is stunned, uh, Miyagi starts punching the head of, of uh, Mr. Kennedy. Um, Miyagi in an octopus stretch from Mr. Mr. Kennedy, and he submits! He submits! Ladies and gentlemen, your, your two number one contenders of this match, Kenny Omega and Mr. Kennedy. Fuck. Okay, really thought Miyagi had it there, but that, that, that barbed wire explosion, it really, it really did him in. Um, However, almost right away, they will have to fight each other again. We need to get a new ref because the previous ref is currently too injured. And our new ref will be Johnny Blood of, uh, of New Legacy Inc. fame. Uh, will be refereeing this, this title match. Uh, we are going to change this to, uh, to, to 100. Um, 
and and yeah, we'll leave that at five. Uh, and yeah, that sounds that looks great to me. Um, this match, ladies and gentlemen, is apparently not for the title. Um, I need to fix that. Hold up, barbed wire death match. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a match, a match made between Kenny Omega and Ken Anderson for the TTWA title. It is a barbed wire death match with your referee, Johnny Blood. Both men just fought a tag team barbed wire death match, so they're very tired, but they will have to fight again. And I forgot to put the fucking title on the line. It's late. That's my excuse. Now, it is a title match. Both men squaring up. Ken Anderson uh, going for the sweep of the legs on uh, on Kenny Omega. Uh, doing it again. Going for uh, a, a leg sweep there again. Uh, Kenny Omega going for an elbow. Uh, both men just kind of feeling themselves out. Kenny Omega tries to sneak in a, a running high knee. And then a running in Zaguri. Does not hit either of, uh, of those two um, of those two moves. Um, Kenny Omega does a, uh, a suplex there. Of some description. Uh, once again, tired. Uh, I think that's just a vertical suplex. Yeah, that, that's what that is. It, I've been calling it a suplex this entire time. It's a fucking vertical suplex. I know what it is. Um, uh, Ken Anderson going for a power bomb. God, I hope to God Ken Anderson does not win this match. Um, however, uh, Mr. Miyagi and Muhammad Ali are guaranteed a, uh, a, a title match uh, with the uh, with the loser of this match um, for the three man tag team titles. Um, Oh, and oh, he's uh, Ken Anderson, very bloody, and that's the that's the thing that really won them the the match last time is that they were able to utilize these uh, these barbed wire ropes here uh, in a way that Miyagi and Muhammad Ali aren't because they don't really know how to uh, Irish whip. Uh, and going for a quick count there, uh, however, it does not appear to work. Um, referee Johnny Blood. Oh, and look at this soup, uh, surfboard submission here. Um, Kenny Omega, uh, step up into Gurry to the back of the head of Anderson. And I got to say, Anderson not looking good here. Uh, Anderson uh, is, is bloody and has not really submitted any, any meaningful offense in a long time. Uh, collapses there uh, when he gets a chance for the offense. However, uh, the ring is going to explode in less than a minute. Um, so Kenny Omega probably should end this now if he uh, if he was smart. Um, because otherwise, uh, that could be the thing that Anderson needs to turn the tide. Um, however, Anderson is also going to be in the explosion, um, which will be happening in uh in 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 10 9 8 7 4 6 5 4 3 2 1 explosion <laughs> Kenny Omega now bloodied um but it does not appear uh Ken Anderson is not moving ladies and gentlemen uh the referee has not called it no yes he is he's calling it Ken Anderson has been knocked unconscious Kenny Omega is your new and first Totem Trouser World Heavyweight Champion. Thank you, God, that it was not Ken Anderson. <laughs> Thank you, God. Oh, 
Okay. Well, that was an eventful night. Um, we had a lot going on there. Um, and I think we are going to have a dark match um, with no real... With no real... Um, important anything um nothing nothing of stake uh just just kind of want to see what happens um well oh, i'm clicking anyone there uh the watcher will preferee this uh this eight man match um between the team of Rick Steiner, Brutus Beefcake, Gene LaBelle, and Grado, uh, and the Sandman, Cobra Moom, Crash Holly, and Liz Mark Jr. Um, and that will be a, um, well, one of these, um, with a very high critical rate. <laughs> CPU will all be at level 10. Uh, and it has to be a give up only. Um, Okay. Let's see what happens in this train wreck. You ready? And then after this, we're going to call it. But it seems like a fun little train wreck. I want to see what happens. Referee of the Watcher. Uh, it's going to be a little bit too hard to call here. Um, really going to have to wait until, honestly, the herd starts to thin, which I, I think is probably going to happen... Uh, Probably going to happen once the ring explodes, really. Um, you know, got to say, uh, really, really shows the uh, chivalry of, uh, of Kenny Omega that he, he did back off from Mr. Anderson after he noticed that he was unconscious. He called the ref over to him and everything. Um, really, really good man to be holding the, uh, the inaugural championship. Of course, Sandman has picked up a barbed wire bet. Um, nothing about that surprises me. Grado does not look like Grado. He looks like Kevin Smith. Um, uh, no, he doesn't. He looks like Patton Oswald. That's what he looks like. Uh, I don't know who Cobra Moon is. I never got that far in Lucha Underground. Um, I hear she's cool. Uh, I don't know who Liz Mark Jr. is either. Um, I've heard of him. But, like, I've also heard of Gene LaBelle. Um... Which is why they're here in the first place, because I heard of them, and I know they're real people. Um, well, I've heard of them enough to know where to put them. Uh, Cobra Moon ends up going right into the barbed wire. She is the first one to be bloodied, from what it appears to be, what I can tell in this match. Um, we are now at the halfway point until everything explodes. I, uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what the, uh, don't know what the boxes are. Oh wait, no, those are for the explosions. Right? Yes. Um. Those are the landmines. A lot going on here. A uh, lot to follow. Um, but it doesn't appear that anyone's been knocked unconscious. And that's great, because when this ring explodes, I want all these fuckers to get blown the fuck up. Sandman, taking the second uh, second one to plunge into the barbed wire, has not cut himself open yet, which is surprising, considering this is Sandman we are talking about. Up, oh, less than uh, less than 15 seconds until this barbed wire explodes, uh, till this, uh, till this, till everything goes to hell. Oh, and it has... To hell it has gone. It does not appear that anyone is actually unconscious, um, but very damaged is, is everyone here. Um, uh, Gene LaBelle unable to get the submission on Cobra Moon. Um, someone got kicked in the balls. Um... Crash Holly, I believe that is, has uh, has done a backflip. <laughs> oh, Gene the Bell taking a plunge into the barbed wire. Oh my goodness, everyone, everyone running into the barbed wire.
Oh, and barbed wire tube just everywhere. Surprisingly, no criticals. I set that to high, and I really expect it to, to see them. Um, but it does not appear that we're, we're dealing with that here today. Uh, it looks like uh, Brutus Beefcake dancing in the corner. That's uh, maybe not the best use of his time. Uh, we have two separate submissions going in, and now we don't have either. Oh, someone has been knocked unconscious. Oh no, it was an elimination match. Sandman has been uh has been has submitted. I don't know to who. It looks like Gredo. Which is hilarious. No, Jean LaBelle. That makes way more sense. Okay. So that was that. Uh I'm a, I'm gonna call it here. Uh thank you guys for watching. Um I I love fun. This game rocks. Um, I'll I'm going to download more characters as I as I find them, uh, and and we can keep this going. Uh, so to keep you tied it over until next time, make you might want to follow or subscribe, um, depending on what viewing platform you are watching this on. Um, your current champions are um, starting at the top. The most important title: the uh, Totem Trouser World or Totem Trouser Wrestling Alliance Championship is held by Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega's pretty rad. Uh, the Totem Trouser Tournament Championship is held by, uh, by Sid Vicious. And when I do this again, um, we can have tournaments going all the way up to 32. So, um, so we are probably not going to do 32. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking maybe we do a six-man tournament next time uh, with Sid Vicious uh, getting a bye, and that will be fair. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so um, Sid Vicious will get a bye next time, but he will have to compete in a tournament. That's how the tournament champion defends his title, by winning consecutive tournaments. So that's how I was going to have a lot of turnover. Uh, and then the tag team championships are currently held by the team of The Undertaker, Zeus, and Kid Leokos. Um, and we actually know the, the people they're going to fight. They're going to fight Mr. Miyagi, Mr. Anderson, and, uh, or Mr. Kennedy, I guess, and Mr. Or, and, uh, and Mr. Ali. Uh, so that, uh, that match will happen next time I do this. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow if I'm feeling up to it, but we'll see. Um, but other than that, um... My name is Totem Trouser. You guys have a good day. Goodbye.